Today's topic is super important for anyone aiming for success. Stepping out of your comfort zone. I've got five awesome ways to help you do just that and level up your life. I know it's tough. We all love our comfy zones, right? But real growth and success happen when we challenge ourselves. Trust me, we're all in this together. So let's dive in and learn how to break free from those limitations holding us back. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like for more awesome content. Now let's jump into the video and start pushing those boundaries. All right, let's dive into the number one way to break free from your comfort zone and find success, taking risks. We all have dreams, things we want to achieve, but often we let fear stop us. We get comfy in our routines, jobs, and relationships, and we settle for less because it feels safe. But staying comfy won't get us where we want to be. Success means stepping out, being bold, and taking chances. Yes, failure is part of the deal. It's how we learn and grow. Think about all the big achievers in history. They took risks. They weren't scared to try new things or fail because they knew it's part of the journey. So why is it hard for us to take risks? Fear, it's natural, but it, it can hold us back. We need to understand our fears and work on overcoming them. One way is to change our mindset. Instead of fearing risks, see them as opportunities to learn and grow. Start small. Try new things in your daily life. Build confidence for bigger risks. But don't be reckless. Think things through. Have a plan. And be ready for any outcome. Now, what if you fail? So what? Failure isn't the end. It's a chance to learn and come back stronger. I know from experience I failed big time when I started as a motivational speaker, but I learned and kept going, and that failure led to my success. So, take risks, embrace the unknown, and step out of your comfort zone. Success is a journey, and risks are part of it. Let's talk about the second way to step out of your comfort zone and find success. Embracing failure. I know, it might sound strange. How can failure lead to success? But trust me, failure isn't something to fear. In fact, it's essential for achieving greatness. When we take risks and step out of our comfort zones, failure is bound to happen. But it's how we deal with failure that matters most. Here's a story from my own life. When I was 25, I was struggling in my business ventures. I'd failed multiple times and was ready to give up. Then I met Earl Schaff, who became my mentor. He taught me that failure isn't shameful. It's a chance to learn and grow. He said, don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for fewer problems. Wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenge. Wish for more wisdom. That mindset shift changed everything for me. Failure isn't the opposite of success. It's part of the journey. It's how we learn and grow, both personally and professionally. But society teaches us to fear failure. We're told to avoid it at all costs. Yet, some of history's most successful people failed many times before reaching their dreams, like Thomas Edison, who failed over 1,000 times before inventing the light bulb. So, how do we embrace failure? First, change your mindset. See failure as an opportunity to learn and improve. Second, take responsibility for your failures. Don't blame others. Take control of your success. Lastly, use failure as a stepping stone. Learn from it and keep trying. Remember, it's not about how many times you fall, it's about how many times you get back up. Embracing failure isn't easy, but the rewards are worth it. It opens doors to endless opportunities for growth and success. Let's talk about the third way to step out of your comfort zone and find success. Networking and connecting with others. Success isn't something you achieve alone. It takes a team and connections. Networking isn't just about making small talk. It's about building relationships, creating opportunities, and growing together. First, networking helps you learn and see things differently. 
When you connect with people who share your goals, you're exposed to new ideas and experiences. This broadens your perspective and opens up new possibilities. Second, networking can lead to exciting opportunities. You never know what doors might open when you make connections. It could be a job offer, a business partnership, or a mentor to guide you. Remember, success isn't just about what you get. It's also about what you give. By supporting others in your network, you attract support in return. Helping others achieve their goals is incredibly rewarding. Networking can also provide support and accountability. When you have people cheering you on and holding you accountable, it motivates you to keep going, even when things get tough. Now, networking might seem intimidating, but it's not about being the life of the party or having impressive contacts. It's about being genuine, making meaningful connections, and adding value to others. So, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and connect with others. It's a crucial step on the path to success. Wondering how to start networking and connecting with others? Here are some easy tips. 1. Go to events and conferences related to your interests. You'll meet people who share your passions and can expand your network. 2. Reach out to people you admire. Send a message expressing your interest in their work and asking for advice. They might be open to grabbing coffee or becoming a mentor. 3. Join online groups. Social media makes it easy to connect with people worldwide who have similar interests. Online communities are great for networking and learning from others. 4. Be a good listener. Networking isn't just about talking. It's about listening, too. Show interest in others' stories and build connections by being genuinely interested in them. 5. Follow up and stay in touch. After making a connection, keep in touch through emails, social media, or meeting up for coffee. Building and maintaining relationships is key to successful networking. Networking helps you learn, opens doors to opportunities, provides support, and lets you give back. It's a crucial step in stepping out of your comfort zone and finding success. Let's talk about the fourth way to step out of your comfort zone and find success. By always learning and growing. Life is all about growing and improving. If we want to succeed, we have to be open to learning new things every day. There's a famous saying that goes, if you're not growing, you're dying. And it's so true. Think about it. How many of you have goals you want to achieve? I bet many of you do. But just having goals isn't enough. We need to have a strong desire to keep learning and growing if we want to reach those goals. Success isn't something that happens overnight. It's a journey that requires continuous effort and improvement. So, how do we keep learning and getting better? Well, let's break it down step by step. First, we need to stay curious. Remember when we were kids, always asking questions and exploring? We need to bring back that curiosity. Even as we grow up, it's important to stay curious about the world, new ideas, and different ways of thinking. If we want to succeed, we have to keep that spark of curiosity alive. Second, we should be open to new experiences. Life gets interesting when we step out of our comfort zones and try new things. It might feel scary at first, but trying new stuff is how we grow. Third, or reading is a superpower. It's not just about books. We can learn from articles, blogs, podcasts, and videos too. The more we read, the more we learn, and the more we grow. Fourth, surround yourself with inspiring people. You know how they say you're like the people you hang out with the most. If we want to keep growing, we need to spend time with folks who challenge us and push us to be better. Fifth, it's okay to mess up. Mistakes are part of learning. Thomas Edison had tons of oops moments before he invented the light bulb. So, don't be afraid to fail. Learn from it and keep going. Sixth, believe in yourself. We need to think we can learn and improve. It's what Carol Dweck calls a growth mindset. If we believe we can get better, we will. Seventh, take time to think about what we've been through. 
Reflecting on our experiences helps us understand ourselves better and learn from both our successes and failures. Eighth, find a mentor. Someone who's been where we want to go can teach us a lot. Having a mentor speeds up our learning and growth. Ninth, go to seminars and workshops. These are great places to learn from experts and meet people who share our interests. And lastly, take action. All the knowledge in the world won't do much if we don't put it into practice. So, let's not just learn. Let's do something with what we learn. Learning and growing might be hard work, needing us to put in effort and stick with it. But believe me, the good stuff we get out of it is totally worth it. When we keep learning and improving, we become better people. We get smarter, better at stuff, and more sure of ourselves. And the best part is, we get closer to reaching our goals and being successful. Number five, the power of setting goals and holding oneself accountable. I've seen how people change their lives when they decide to take control and go beyond what they think they can do. We all have a comfort zone, a place where we feel safe and know what's going on. But here's the thing, success doesn't hang out there. It's just outside where things are uncertain and risky. So, how do we leave our comfort zone and find success? Simple, we set goals and make sure we stick to them. You might say, but Jim, I've set goals before and never reached them. Well, setting goals is just the start. What really matters is holding ourselves accountable. Think about it like playing a game without keeping score. How do you know if you're winning or losing? Setting goals is like having a map. It shows us where to go. But holding ourselves accountable is like having a GPS, keeping us on track. Here are three steps to setting goals and sticking to them. Step one, be clear about your goals. Write them down and make them specific. Instead of saying, I want to be successful, say what success means to you. Is it a certain job or income? The clearer, the better. Step two, make a plan. Break your goal into smaller steps. This roadmap helps us stay focused and feel accomplished as we progress. Step three, hold yourself accountable. This is crucial. Set deadlines, track your progress, or find someone to check in with. It's about taking responsibility, not punishing yourself. And remember, accountability is ongoing. Keep setting goals, taking action, and holding yourself accountable. It's how we learn and grow. Let me share a personal story. I set a goal to become a millionaire by 30. I had no clue how, but I tracked my progress and adjusted along the way. I hit that goal at 31, not to brag, but to show you the power of setting goals and sticking to them. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss our next video. We've also handpicked some videos for you to check out next. Thanks for watching the whole video and we will catch you next time.